You've seen a thousand videos on Donald Trump, literally. He's not exactly the global man of mystery. You already know what you think about his victory and you're an expert on his hair and his history. You already know what you think about the guy. I'm not gonna waste my time trying to change your mind. But whatever you're doing now, you might wanna stop because this could be one of the most important things you watch. Now, whether or not you like Trump, he's a world leader. Everything he says and does impacts on us. That's why we always have to keep an eye on how he leads us, because if we don't, everything would just be based on trust. Now, you might trust him, but I'm not inclined to. How could I trust a man who likes to lie the way he likes to? I've seen him lie, speaking like his statements are a safe thing, then when he's proved wrong, he just lies about the same thing. Like, yeah, but that's not true. Yeah, but just trust Trump. Yeah, but I've got proof. No, but just trust Trump. I don't think that you should do. Just trust Trump. Shut up and trust Trump. Listen, buddy, he's got money. Just trust Trump. Now, whether or not you do, people do trust him. 28% of Americans love him. If you ever try to cuss him, every one of them would rush in. To many of them, even God is barely just above him. But I don't like when people call Trump voters idiots, as if you know what's really going on and they're oblivious. The vote was not a joke to them. They voted on experience. Whether or not you like Trump, their feelings are legitimate. They voted for Trump because millions were miserable. People felt forgotten, jobless, invisible. It wasn't just difficult, life was barely livable. The people needed change and they don't deserve your ridicule. When Trump came along, they saw something different. He spoke like them. He seemed to have vision, a self-made world famous billionaire too, a first class businessman. Well, that's not quite true. I mean, his companies have gone bankrupt six times. Who do you know that's gone bankrupt six times? Six times, honestly, I'm sorry, but that bothers me. He's in charge of one of the world's largest economies. From America to Scotland, his business has problems. He lost 24 mil in 2016. The next year alone, he lost 400 million. That doesn't sound brilliant. Or is it just me? They say his Trump University real estate courses defrauded students on a big scale. He'd be 25 million to settle out of court, but I guess he can afford it if it means he skips jail. Then there's the 3,500 legal actions listed, all against Trump's not so ethical business. His companies have been in over 100 tax disputes. He says he's smart for not paying tax. So what does that make you? Like, on a real, I'm not being funny. If he can't run a business, how can he run a country? But it's all right, because he'll put America first. He says it all day. He says it till it hurts. At first, I didn't really think that I could trust his words, but he really did deliver, and America is first. Highest deficit economy, America first. Highest wealth inequality, America first. The most expensive healthcare, America first. A growing lack of social welfare, America first. The country with the most human beings kept in prison, the largest immigration detention system, the country most responsible for drone strike killings. For these things, best believe America's first, the highest opinion of themselves, the lowest opinion of everyone else, the biggest killer in the world, America first. But speaking of racist, xenophobic policies, you know Theresa May, she'll be greeting Trump when he comes to the UK. They'll be holding hands like he never went away which makes sense really, they're clearly both the same. No, I'm only playing. We've got a strong economy. Tell that to the working class. We've got democracy, though none of us wanted to bomb Iraq. We've got honest policies, while families are left to starve. Oh, we've got the monarchy. <laughs> Come on, you have to laugh. I mean, the queen is gonna meet Donald Trump. Your Majesty, the Queen, is gonna greet Donald Trump. What does that say to the world about us? What type of message is that to our sons? Do you know why Trump is coming to the UK? Well, it isn't to seduce me. He's coming here to do trade. And none of you have to be a genius to guess the US are gonna want a piece of our NHS. And she hasn't ruled it out. She is not a leader. Trump's not welcome here, and neither is Theresa. But when he comes, I hope he loves that big baby being flown. Plus the hostile environment will make him feel at home. Then he's got Tommy Robinson just down the road, and oh, Boris and Nigel said to say hello. Trump doesn't need to fly here to arrive. Trump's been here for a very long time. Trump's right here in our fear of non-whites. Trump's in the blood and tears we watch live. But you know, the main thing about Trump that's unsettling he doesn't just represent America first. As the United States president, I'm hesitant to say it, but in some ways, he represents Earth. 
Like, can you imagine if aliens came to Earth while Trump was the president? I don't know, but I don't think they'd be all that impressed with him. Imagine it now, they all come down, like, take me to your leader. What's he gonna do? Make him apply to get a visa? What's he gonna do? Grab him by the pussy, tell him how big his hands are, call him all a wussy, build a wall around us all. After all, they're aliens, and tell him they can laugh now, but Mars is gonna pay for it. <laughs> nah, Trump would never speak to real aliens like that. If they were real, they'll be powerful, they might buy it back. They would never fly back, Trump would catch a right hand. He only picks on immigrants, cause it's harder for them to fight back. He knows that they're vulnerable, that they're seeking amnesty. He knows they're fleeing war, global warming and catastrophe, but he still wraps them up in a flag fallacy. And actually in doing that, he abstracts reality. He makes you point at them and everything except his policies. Quickly, look at them! And not Trump's screwed economy, the robbery of Medicare, food stamp poverty, the everyday privatized lynching of democracy. Forget all that because Trump's the main attraction. His Twitter timeline alone is prime time distraction, grabbing up every headline. Quite incredible. The one man festival, the ultimate spectacle. Beef after beef, scandal after scandal, tweet after tweet, handle after handle. He does bad things and he makes the world watch. I'm already starting to cut myself off. We all are. We become numb to the world to ourselves, to the truth, to reality, and in the end, we become numb to our humanity. The technical term for that is alienation. So welcome to Donald Trump's alien nation. Whatever you think of Trump, whether or not you buy his captions, whether you think he's real, fake, great, or a distraction, we have to take action. We need to impeach him. And we need to do that for one of two reasons. One, nuclear war. There's 15,000 nuclear weapons on the planet. America and Russia have 7,000 each. If they went to war, there'll be more than just damage. They would kill 400 million human beings. That's 10 times the death count of World War II. And trust me, believe me, that's not fake news, which is worrying when you consider the announcement of Trump's brand new usable nukes. Yeah, Trump's got nukes, and now he wants to use them. Do you understand what would happen if he used them? He'd destroy humans, like the human race. And trust me, we're all only one mistake away. A mistake like, say, tearing up the Iran nuclear deal, or deploying THAAD, which China will feel, or threatening to kill millions in North Korea. Trump's provoking war, and it couldn't be more clear. Now, the second main reason we need to impeach him is global warming. Now, Trump's not concerned with the Earth. He doesn't pretend to be. Climate change is fake news, is what his position tends to be. He's never been a friend of the Earth. He's an enemy. The president only represents big energy. Everything I'm saying is factually provable. He actually calls coal clean and beautiful. He demonizes everything that's renewable. The fool thinks he's in control, but the effects will not be mutable. He says that global warming is a conspiracy that China made. He says he doesn't concede it's true and doesn't believe in climate change. Then why is he building walls around his golf courses? Because he knows the sea is rising. That's what coal causes. But he still dropped out of the Paris Agreement. And everybody shouted their passive agreement. Maybe because his admin is actually teeming with oil, coal, gas and fracking industry leaders. This isn't about the far right, the centre or the left. He'll destroy the earth itself. There'll be nothing left. What do I have to do to get this through your heads? None of us can get rich if we're fucking dead. Human extinction for the first time has literally gone from a possibility to probability, but he doesn't mind because it's good publicity. Trump is the most dangerous man in human history. Now is the time to call for global revolution, intensified resistance, unified solutions, because if we don't impeach him or we'll get some resolutions, Trump could be the actual end of human evolution. Think about that.